OpenAI's GPT 4.1 is here, and it's actually three different models, all said to be much better than the 4.0 models that we had previously. So today we're launching three new models, GPT 4.1, Mini, and Nano. So in this video, let's go over what this means, the connotations, how are they better than the previous models, and does it actually matter? Now, right off the bat, the first paragraph of OpenAI's statement, they say it supports up to 1 million tokens of context. Now, is that a big deal? Well, let's just compare to 4.0. So now we have 1 million tokens that we can use with 4.1, up from 128,000 tokens. So 4.0 could effectively take one book, 100,000 words. That's about one book, right? Well, the new ChatGPT 4.1, it can take probably five to eight books, entire books. And it can instantly, it's like having, well, this is what ChatGPT says about it. It's like having an instant mega intelligent insistent. So this is a huge difference. That's almost a 10x on token limits. Now, this is why it matters, because when we talk about AI agents, they need a lot of tokens. One million tokens allows us to start doing some fun things with agents. Now, what I thought was interesting, if we go back in time, GPT-4 was 32,000 token limit. GBT 4.0 was 128, and now we're at 1 million. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in another year? Now, on top of that, GBT 4.1 does really well with real-world applications. So Coden, GBT 4.1 scored 54% on the SWE benchmark. That's over 20% better than 4.0. And why that matters is, instead of just having those one-click you know, code generations for apps, this can actually fix the code. You could push tons of code to this and it would be able to crawl through it and do a good job that's much different than those one-off tools that are able to generate apps you know they're very cool don't get me wrong but this is just a different animal now something important to note is ChatGPT 4.1 mini and nano are only available in playground or the api right now so if you have the native ChatGPT, right you're talking to it you don't have access to it right now but i imagine in the future you will. Now, this one is interesting. Instruction following, GPT 4.1 did about 10% better than 4.0. Now, this is conducted by a third party called Scale. And what they do is they have tests for LLMs, large language models, that kind of allows us to see, okay, how is this in the real world? Why this matters is GPT 4.0 will be able to understand and execute multi-step or nuanced things. It's less likely to hallucinate, which is, you know, a lot of people say hallucinations on LLMs is the biggest issue. So this is just showing us in the real world, it's going to be able to do a better job. Now, how much are these models comparatively? We're about to get into that. But before we do, it's important to note that about six to 7% improvement from 4.0 on video MME. Basically, how well does an AI look at the video and listen to a video, any video, right? It's only a six to 7% increase. It's, a, it's an increase, right? But it's not a huge jump like the things we're talking about before. Now, we all wanna know what the price is because it sounds great, but how much does it cost? And they say, we've been able to lower prices on GPT 4.1. It is about 26% less expensive than GPT 4.0 for medium queries. So I have a good chart here. Look here, focus on this GPT 4.1. This has the 1 million token context window. It costs the exact same as the legacy plan now. They're calling 4.0 legacy. So it costs the same. There is no price increase. In fact, if you use GPT mini or nano, you're going to sacrifice the context window tokens right? You're still going to have a lot of tokens, depending upon what you need, but it's even less expensive than what we're accustomed to with GBT 4.0. So me, I do think the hype is warranted with GBT 4.1. It's faster, it's better, and it costs the same, if not less money.